Hi everybody, here with another Ultrasound of the Month video. This ultrasound was performed by none other than Dr. Colton. He performed a bedside ultrasound on a patient with a right sided blank pain. You'll notice a hyperechoic or black area within the renal pelvis of the kidney. We changed the angle of our view here and confirmed that there appears to be moderate hydronephrosis. What's tricky about this view is that there's actually multiple shades of black. Over here, we see black that represents hydronephrosis. And it's subtle, but you'll actually see shadowing within the pelvis that's from an intrarenal stone. The intrarenal stones show up as a bright white or hypoechoic signal. Those stones are seen here and here. Whenever we see a black or hypoechoic area within the renal pelvis, we need to try and differentiate to see is this a blood vessel or is this hydronephrosis? So we take our color Doppler and we place it over the renal pelvis. When the black area does not light up with color flow, we know that this is more likely hydronephrosis. To confirm this, we take our probe, we turn it 90 degrees, and we look at the kidney in a transverse view. When hydronephrosis is present, it almost makes the kidney look like a donut with a black circle in the middle. We also see a, a long black stripe on the left side of the screen that will again use color Doppler to try and differentiate what this is. Color Doppler reveals a pulsatile blood flow, indicating that this is the patient's renal artery and veins. You'll still notice the black in the center of the donut, which is again moderate hydronephrosis. Every time we do a renal ultrasound, you should also look at the bladder. Right down the middle of this bladder, we see a large hypoechoic shadow, which is actually a big UVJ stone. It almost looks like this stone is ready to give birth, as Dr. Kim Tim Cook said. You'll also notice the posterior shadowing behind the stone. This stone is big and easy to see, but sometimes they can be much more subtle than this. One way to not miss them is to take either color or power Doppler and place it at the posterior aspect of the bladder. You'll see that this stone lights up like fire. This is called a twinkle artifact, and you'll notice this uh, term used frequently in radiology reports. Finally, take your probe and turn it 90 degrees again so the marker is towards the patient's head. Now you have a sagittal view of the bladder, and again we see that large hyperechoic stone in the posterior portion of the bladder. We check again with our color Doppler, and we again see the positive twinkle sign here. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. Until next time.